Hello, I'm Pete Starkey with iConnect 007 uh, here at Productronica and I'm at the booth of Ucamco and delighted to meet again Carol Tavernier. Carol, great to see you. Great to see you again. Not, it was not so long ago, but still good to see you. No, not so long ago I was privileged to be able to attend one of your, your learning seminars when you introduced uh, UCAMX and the latest version of Integrator. But uh, uh, nothing stands still for, for, for long, Carol. Here we are in Productronica and you have uh, uh, new, uh, new opportunities uh, to, uh, to uh, announce and introduce. Yes, yes. yes. We, we have something absolutely new yeah. that uh, is shown publicly for the first time yeah. here at uh, Productronica. Yeah. I think it's also something without equivalent in uh, yeah. the industry at this time. Yeah. Um, to position first a little bit why we've done it. Yeah. Yeah. Our goal is to automate and speed up, and automation is a way of speeding up the cam work as much as possible because yeah. delivery time shortened yeah. um, and in fact by one of our customers we've been given the goal to do 50 percent of the jobs standard jobs yeah. Yeah. not the most complicated ones 50 percent of the jobs automatic yeah. that's entirely achieved yeah, so with with integrator uh -huh. you've automated the input process where have you taken the development from that point yes integrator indeed automated input analysis and now we are extending it in two directions. Yeah. One, and that's a new one, which even you, who knows everything, haven't seen yet. Uh, that's communicator. Yeah. A lot of time uh, is wasted in communicating between the fabricator and his customer yeah. questions about the design, yeah. uh, asking authorization of, uh, uh, ch uh, for changes that they do. This all must be, uh, certainly nowadays, be protocoled. Uh, there must be trace for uh, it, that there can be no discussion. Automotive wants uh, this, da 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 da. Yeah, yeah. Now this happens in the most awkward way. Screenshots are made, uh, put in Excel sheets, and yeah, questions yeah, and discussions, yeah. and waiting, and days lost, yeah. uh, etc. I know exactly what you're talking about <laughs> and if you've been able to uh, smooth that process out then I think the industry will be beating a path to your door. Uh, that's what we hope. Um, what we have uh, provided is something a little bit similar to what Adobe has done in um, graphics communication. Uh, in Acrobat you can put annotations uh, in a document and an annotation can be replied, etc. We have done something like, say, an Acrobat for PCBs. Yeah. Acrobat doesn't do the job for PCB because it doesn't have the resolution, the measuring, it's a different object. Yeah. Uh, but we have a possibility for a, a fabricator to take a design, in the design put annotations, yeah. which he put manually, or which come from his CAM uh, yeah. system, make this available to his customer yeah. so the customer sees the annotations walks to them and instead of a screenshot sees it in the context of his design yeah. so he can choose which layers he wants to see he can do a measure uh, around it yeah. and hopefully okay yeah. uh, the comment or give, give a counter say yeah oh, 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 wait a minute you don't do this yeah. uh, yeah. there's really has to be that way yeah. and these uh, things are protocoled they're there stored uh, forever and the whole thing is in a convenient uh, workflow so that you have an overview of the jobs you have who has to do something to get it uh, moving yeah. forward when it's closed etc etc yeah, yeah, yeah. and this should take away on the even before the data input let's say on that flow take a lot of the time loss and aggravation that you have now on simple jobs or on very complicated uh, jobs because questions can be about stack up, etc. It's not all image. Huh? Yeah. That's communicated. Yeah. We've always recognized a sort of a barrier between the design guy and the, uh, the, yes. the, the pre-production guy and it looks like you've sort of cut a hole in that barrier. That's, that's the goal, is to cut the, uh, the hole, is to try to make a rhyme uh, around it. Yes, that's yeah. what we uh, want to do. 
um, it's available, it's not specifically tied to our camp solution, it's available to uh, everybody. I think I think that's 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 an interesting feature. I think yeah. that you've not made it sort of exclusive to to UCAM users. Okay. And it's also uh, the goal is um, that to make it not only between the fabricator and designer, but also the assembler in there. So to have a communication platform for yeah. the whole part in that triangle, where there's a lot of stuff going on that uh, yeah. is yeah. very yeah. Awkward at this time. Yeah, uh, yeah that's another feature I, I completely understand. Yes, you can you can you can uh, encourage communication between the the designer and the fabricator, but there's a next step. Yes, uh, that's equally important. That's equally important. Uh, yeah. but after all, the um, assembly panel. It's a production panel for an assembler. Eh? It's yeah. it's made at the bareboard fabricator, but the, uh, it. Actually, no business of the designer, so to speak, and but it's the real yeah. user of it is the assembler. Yeah. And now there's no standards, no way to discuss it. It's all emails, drawings, yeah. uh, yeah. 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 etc. Like in the time of Napoleon, yeah. if they made PCBs, then I don't remember. But okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But again, if you've got the right communication between the fabricator and the assembler, you can design the right panel format yes. uh, for best use of material, for best for best utilisation of assembly equipment, and this all adds to the, the smooth flow of the work yes. right the way through. That's exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so that's one side. Yeah. The other side is uh, towards um, the fabrication side. Um, as I said, the goal that was given to us, 50% of the jobs camped automatically. Yeah. Um, camming mean making the single PCB yeah. um, production ready. And with current AI technologies, that's entirely achievable. Because, after all, AI works best on a fairly limited, mm. uh, well-described uh, area of yeah. PCB. It's a whole PCB, yeah, and there's a lot of variation, but yep. still, it's a very limited field. We already used AI techniques in the auto input for uh, integrated. We've now applied them to the CAM work, and uh, what we call this suite of products uh, yellow, yield enhancing layout optimizer. Yeah, yeah. Um, the, uh, one of them is uh, the signal layer adjuster. So what, what this does, you want to, what, what does it do? You want to achieve a, a job in a certain production class. Yeah. You see which violations there are. And then it starts to move around tracks oh. uh, to try to solve it. If it can't uh, solve it with uh, moving around tracks, it will maybe shave a via path yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Um, and jobs with hundreds of faults, which nowadays people would say it's unsolved, it takes hours in CAM. Yeah. In a couple of minutes, the the program will uh, uh, solve these in as much as they are solvable. Yeah. And any of these adjustments will be made within a clearly defined set of design rules. Yes, uh, you, you can specify. You, not you, but the user of the can specify yeah. what he wants to achieve as design rules yeah. and which changes are uh, allowed. Uh, typically, they say I can shave via pad but you can't shave, uh, touch an SMD pad because yeah. that has a yeah. use yeah. later, uh, yeah. later down. So we think 50% automatic is achievable. Once you have done that, the problem of automation is now, now already solved. Yeah. Once you have the single PCB uh, with the scripting capabilities of serious CAM systems, you can... Uh, uh, the the, the, the panelization that is then quite a, a straightforward routine. Yeah, that's uh, panelization, all the production tools, you yeah. can do automatically. Yeah. Um, of course, to do this, you need to know the complete product, this, the thicknesses, etc., not yeah. only the image. Yeah. Um, some people, uh, for instance, Amphenol Infotech has done a formidable job in storing all this data and using the power of UCAM to automate the production side yeah. uh, themselves. We ourselves have extended our automation backbone integrator so that now it can store the complete product definition. That's, I think, the only system that stores as well the image yeah. as other data which is normally stored in ERP systems. So we have everything there. 
and you have the same scripting capabilities as in uh, automation principles as you can, uh, and you have the possibility to access the data that's in the integrator yeah. and drive the system from your ERP, ERP yeah. system once you do this. So once you have the single PCB done, yeah. and that's what we achieve now, yeah. uh, you can already today automate the whole uh, flow. After all, in graphic cards, they have achieved that in comes a PDF yeah. and the printing plates come out and nobody looks at them. Yeah. Yeah. We're absolutely not there yet in our industry, yeah. but that's where we need to, yeah. to get the, certainly in Europe, yeah. where it's short runs, et cetera, et cetera, yeah. and you don't have the margins, that we must automate that. Huh? And that's what we try to do. Yeah, but Carol, you're taking all the fun out of the process. Uh, there's this process called CAM, C-A-M, where the A stands for aided, but there's no need for, for any human intervention at all. It can just be CM now, can't it? Um, there's still a little bit of work till, uh, till say, 50% is not 100%. No, huh? no, there's, there's still room for the intelligent engineer in yeah. the process. Yeah, it's good. All the special stuff they have to do. Yeah. But the routine stuff, we must automate. Yeah. Yeah. And there's too much routine stuff today that takes too much time yeah. and too much uh, hassle to do. So the fun is still there, you've just taken out the boring bits. Yes, that's, that's the goal. Well put. We'll use that as a slogan. <laughs> Carol, it's always a pleasure to talk with you. Thanks very much indeed for your time. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Have a good day. Yeah, Bye. Pete Starkey, iConnect 007 in uh, Chronic Tronica. Mm -hmm.